Okay, I start out here with just a Power Pivot workbook on my desktop in Excel 2010. It's got a pivot table. Um, it's also got some slicers, so we would expect a few different slicers. It's got an image that I put in with insert image, insert picture. Uh, I can use the slicers just like any Power Pivot workbook. It's just, again, normal desktop Power Pivot. Uh, I can change from CVS to Costco and see how that impacts the report. I can change the zip code type to be just young people heavy zip codes. Uh, see how that impacts my retailer competitive report. But now I want to show the Cloud Power Pivot experience. So this is a, a website. This is exactly like what you would get uh, when you request a, a Cloud Power Pivot website from us. You see that it's got a, uh, a Cloud Power Pivot URL uh, up here at the top. Um, and you see the, the sites, and then there's a site slash Arcali2. It's just my my demo site. So that Arcali 2 would be yours, whatever you want it to be. Now back in Excel, before I upload anything, I want to show uh, how to make this look a little better for the web. So I'm just going to turn off on the View tab, Grid Lines and Headings, and then save it. Go back to my browser, and then click on the Workbooks link on my Cloud Power Pivot site. And then all I do here is click the Add, Add Document and browse to the workbook I just saved on my desktop and you know, click Upload, click OK. Uh, depending upon how large the workbook, how fast your connection, this might take a few minutes or a few seconds. Uh, then here I can specify like an alternate title. So I can, instead of just the file name, I can give the name that I want to show on the menu. So I'm going to type that in, click OK. Um, <clears throat> and then you will see that it shows up here in that, that folder, that library on the, on the server. Uh, but I want to go back to the home page and see what that looks like. And you see that I now have a link to that particular report on my home page. If I, if I click that, you'll see this is rendering completely in my browser in Firefox. Uh, I don't even need Excel or Power Pivot installed on my machine to be using it at this point. And the slicers work too. So I'm able to flip back to CVS. Uh, I'm able to clear that, that uh, slicer for you know, uh, person's age in zip codes and things like that. So I can manipulate this and interact with it in the browser without anything installed. And that's all it took was just uploading the file. I didn't have to do anything to the workbook other than upload it. And I can take this URL now and I can copy it and then paste it into an email that I send to like my colleagues. Um, they will still need a username and password, so they have to have that separately. This is still a secure site, but I can just send them the URL rather than sending them the file, and then they can always find it there. Uh, if I want to add another document, I just go back to the workbooks library and I do the, the same sort of browse process again, pick another file, upload it. Uh, and then once that's uploaded, uh, again, I will go and I will see on my home page that I've got, now I've got two links. Uh, that's all it takes. I uploaded two workbooks and they became shareable web apps.